Hello everyone, my name is Mike and here at Tech Car Moon we uncover tech at home and in video. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, but today I'm going to be showing you my top three free plugins for Final Cut Pro. Let's uncover them right now. So these three plugins are super powerful and will up your production quality by quite a bit. So these three plugins are absolutely free of charge and there will be links down in the description below if you want to download them. But the first plugin is a super powerful plugin which is a title plugin and that is Motion Blur. So why would you use Motion Blur? Well, when you, for example, speed up footage, let's say you've recorded something at 24 frames per second and then you wanna speed up a certain section. Well, naturally, when you film, like as you can see, there'll be a natural blur to, to motion. But when you speed up footage, that blur becomes almost obsolete. You can't see that blur. And when you're watching that fast motion, it doesn't feel natural when you're watching it. So I'll explain in Final Cut. So as you can see, I've got cars sort of moving across and let's just play that. So cars are moving, I've speed ramped it. So it's now moving quite quickly. And then it sort of slows down again. So if we watch this fast section, can you see it looks very unnatural because there's no blur to that footage. Now, if we want to add this blur, all that we do is we go into our sort of titles and then we scroll down until we see motion blur. And then can you see we've got loads of different types of motion blur effects. So we've got extreme, minimal, uh, moderate blur. And I really like moderate blur as this, this is, you know, this is what I, I prefer using on my clips when I need to use it. So if we have a look at this freeze frame, for example, now let's activate motion blur. Can you see it's now added blur to that portion of the footage? So can you see there and there? So now when we play it back, it now looks a little bit more natural. Now, obviously we've got three different types of blur, so I would you know, possibly switch out for maybe a minimal blur in this case, but I just wanted to sort of really show you the effect of motion blur, but it, it now seems a little bit more natural. So that is the first plugin. And again, the link will be in the description below if you want to download it. But the second free plugin is called Magnifier. If we just scroll over to here and let's activate this clip. So here is just a video of me doing something with Final Cut Pro, uh, like with this one. So what we wanna do is, is first of all, we can add it directly onto the clip, but I would always recommend to add it as an adjustment layer. So we go and grab the adjustment layer. All right, and let's pull that across the whole clip. Now what we want to do is, is we want to select our magnifier. So all that we do, we just go into video, type in mag, for example, and there you go, magnify. Let's drag that and add that on to our footage. So as you can see, it's now magnified the center part of my clip, but that's not what I wanna do. So for example, I want to magnify this section of the footage. Well, very easy to do. All that I do is I can just go into the inspector, find the magnifier section, and then I can increase or decrease how much I want it magnified. So let's say I want it magnified at 150%, let's say. And then I want to adjust where I want it magnified, which is just that section over here. Let's go up a little bit. We cut this bit and let's go into here and we cut that section of the footage just over there. Perfect. So now we've got the tutorial and then it's magnified the bit that I want magnifying and then it's popped out again. So a really powerful tool if you just wanna draw attention to a certain section of your video clip. And again, this is all free of charge. You can even keyframe these, section, uh, these different sections. So for example, you know, if I wanted uh, the, the magnify to start from here and then sort of end, I don't know, at uh, another different point. So let's just move it, I know, over here. We can keyframe that. So as you can see, it's now gonna magnify across. So for example, this can be implemented, let's say with a moving car. So let's say you've got a moving car and it's going down. Um, you can have the magnify sort of follow 
that particular vehicle down a moving road and then obviously stop it. So as you can see, really powerful and free of charge. And you can add a drop shadow. So if I don't want a drop shadow, I can remove that drop shadow. I can have it as a circle. Um, I can have it as you know a proper magnify or I can have it as a rectangle as well. And this is free of charge. So again, a very powerful tool that you don't have to pay for. So definitely worth downloading. The last free plugin is one that I really like for tutorials like this. And that is the Motion VFX MCAM Rig. So this is again a title plugin. So if we go into MCAM Rig, I've actually got a couple of their uh, plugins. I really like uh, Motion VFX. If we drag this clip just over here, what we can do now is let's say we've got a clip just over here. And now we want to zoom into a particular part of the video. There you go, it's now zoom part. And it does this all, you know, I've not even done anything and it looks brilliant already. But let's say I want it at a specific position. So what I do is, is I go into the title. So let's just click onto that. And let's just keyframe where we want that camera move. So let's say I want it there and I want it zoomed in to this section just over here. Now, as you can see, we can animate it in, we can animate it out. So if we just want it to animate in and then stop it, we can again select it just over here. We can also fade it in and out as well. As you can see, this is all free by the way. Now, one thing that I always like to uh, change is the depth of focus depth of focus uh, blur amount. So what this means is that when it sort of zooms in, can you see it sort of comes out of focus a little bit? Well, some I don't really like that. So I like to have that all the way down. So this is just a little tip. So see where it says depth of uh, focus blur amount. So now when it zooms in, it's not going to blur that zoom in. But for example, if you wanted to add a more realistic kind of, you know, let's say you're zooming into, you know, uh, let's say like a sheep on a field and you might want that depth of focus uh, blur amount because it adds a little bit more realistic motion to, to that camera move, then you can change the amount and, and add that in. But for things like this, I don't really like. So for example, I can just play that and then it zooms in to the section that I want over there. I, it will animate what I want. And then as I come out, it then brings me back to the original clip. So really, really powerful. And as you saw, that took me literally seconds to do. If I wanted to do something like this, it with, you know, keyframe zooming in and everything like that, it would take quite a bit more time than using this plugin. But there we have it. Those are my three top favorite plugins. I'll probably do a second part to this video as um, there are quite a few other free plugins that I really enjoy using that I think you guys will recommend. So if you want to see that next video, then you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, this is a discussion. If there's any other free plugins that I should be aware of, leave it down in the description below. I really like to check those out. If you've gained something out of this video, please drop me a like, that really helps me out. If you want to see more videos, then click some of these just across here. But as always, stay safe guys, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.